is good vibe. <clears throat> I was put a lip gloss on my lip. My lips are dry. What is good vibe, gang? It is your boy. Ray. A.K.A. Uncle Ray. A.K.A. Relvis. A.K.A. The one and only Ray. Some people call me Sun Ray. Shout out to Zachary for the dodo. Zachary, I'm sorry that it took so long and I... I appreciate the way you are the man. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you. Prov, the album, Fire. I think I was so scared to play the last song because I don't think I've reacted to the last song yet. So if I haven't reacted to the last song, please let me know down in the bottom, in, in the comments down below. <laughs> in the bottom, I was about to sing SpongeBob's song. <laughs> you didn't know uh, under the sea. Smile, smile, this nigga. <laughs> I'm on some fuck shit today. Prof, I have to finish the album. If I have it, let me know. I just haven't had time to go look back there and check to see if I've done it or not. So please just let me know in the bottom if I'm missing that one. If I am, I that will be the next Prof reaction that I'll do. Zachary, thank you for this dono. I love Prof. I'm happy Prof. I found him in my life. His dimples make me sleep better at night. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Federico, I'm feeling myself today. How about you? Federico's an ugly nigga. Prof, my dude, it is on you. Let's go. You mind if I smoke? Hey. I love this nigga, man. Yeah. Looking back, my life couldn't been harder on me. Uh -huh. Lord knows I deserve a break. <clears throat> what a pretty motherfucking sight to see. You're impossible to shake uh. I gave up on the first sight, girl, you have won I can't get out my way, sometimes I just get lost Yo, for being a live performance, this should sound crisp C Prov is one of those 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 um those rappers singers and them niggas. He's one of those that if you see what he's doing, this is all live, right? So if you see what he's doing, moving away from the mic and coming closer to make his his voice sound like it's far away, that's just that's just you know studying the game. That's just trying to figure out the best way how to do this way. You could go live and not sound like trash. You guys know. Rappers that go on tour and stuff, the, the cleaner the sound is on their tour, the cleaner they are, you know, rapping live or singing live, the better, you know, performance you're going to give and the better time the fans are going to have. So when... I've, I've been to a lot of concerts in my time and there's some concerts that was like trash. Sound quality, was, it, said, it didn't even sound like doing a mic check. It sounded, it sounded like they, they skipped the mic check. They skipped all that and went straight to perform. And it sounded horrible. And I'm talking about, it was like, it was it was big, but it wasn't huge. It was like, on like I think it was like 1,500, 1,500 people. So there was a lot of people in there and everything, but it was a smaller venue. This was up in New York. It was a smaller venue. And everything that night was bad. I'm not going to say the artist or anybody or nothing. Cause that that's not fair. I love their music and they're they're beautiful, but I don't know. It was like the whole vibe, the whole time there. It was it was horrible. It's like they, it had no AC, so the place was like two hundred degrees, and then it was like twenty degrees outside, snowing, or ten degrees outside, snowing. 
So it was all the elements, everything around the fucking concert, the, to get the tickets, to actually get there to the place. It was just a bad fucking time. The, and, it, and I would say it's because I just had a bad day. But no, when I got there, I was in good spirits because I was able to see them live. So I was in, anticipating this shit. My aggravation was trying to get to the place. Everything, it was roadblocks everywhere. I got, I was excited. And it was, the sound quality was trash. The mics were cutting off. Like, the people in the background, you know, playing the shit, they fucked up like three, four times. It was bad. It was a bad. Prov, you can tell this nigga only needs a mic in him and he could do a whole fucking show. I mean, it's fire. Bro. You a bad mama. Uh. Go ahead. Yeah. He falling in love right now. You'd be like heaven to touch. <laughs> Just make my dreams come true. Go ahead, talk to her. Just to let that dress undo Having a time I love this nigga's voice And his mustache His mustache and his voice is what makes him popular I love it And I hate that I can't sync the beat of the video to my dancing Because if you look at the dancing and then you go off of the beat It looks like I'm not on beat it looks like I'm just fucking crazy I'm going with it though Doomed, ding, doomed, ding. You see what I did there? That's what I did. That dress undue, heaven and time, spellbound. Show me that you feel the same. You'd be like heaven and time. Got Nirvana running through my veins. Right, right, talk to her. Can I come over on a weekday in the morning when it's oh. early? I can't stay at my place, it's too ugly, yeah I don't think there'll ever be a question or a reason you won't love me I can see us in the 30s with a baby, yeah You see, man, you in love, man That that man right there, he's speaking truth, he's speaking facts from the man's heart Not his penis, his heart I knew my wife was the one for me, you know when? When we, when we, when we first saw each other. Now, me and my wife, we met through the enter of webs. And, but we were friends. We talked for like a couple of months, but like that's just friends. And we had this connection. Like we could talk until six o'clock in the morning if we wanted to. We're not a problem. We're not running out of things to talk about. Duh. This is me. And I just learned how to, how to. love the real person that she was because she wasn't looking for something I wasn't looking for something we were just looking for somebody to talk I wasn't looking for shit I was like I, she wants to talk we'll talk and we started talking and and then I started like feeling a certain way right and I'm just like god man every time I fucking close my eyes I'm thinking about this girl I don't, I don't even know what she looks like like that I've never seen her in person in my life and then I was at work. I worked at Walmart. This story time with Ray, by the way. I worked at Walmart. This is my day off, but I was going to meet up my mans so we could go to the races. So my wife, well, at that time, Miss Stacy, let's call her that. At that time, I was, call, I was talking to her through text messages and shit like that. And it so happens that she was around the neighborhood. She's like, well, what woman do you work at? Because I'm about to go over there because <clears throat> my daughter want to fish. And they wanted to buy tanks and all that stuff to set her up. So I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they sell fishes over there. Because me thinking, all right, she's going to probably gonna do that shit tomorrow or some shit. No. It did that night. And I was not ready. Like, physically, I wasn't ready. I was dressed like a fucking clown. And the minute I saw her face, I was like, I'm marrying her. That's right off rip, I'm marrying her. From that point on, she she stole my heart. She took it. It's hers now. It's in her fucking purse. 
amongst other things. That person's booked. I don't know how she does it. You won't love me. I can see us in the 30s with a baby. Yeah. You got me crushed to pieces. I bend down deep. I sink the bottom. I have a reckless turn. No vision. Oh, won't you take these chains? Feeling that? Go, go, nigga, go! I won't lie, won't lie. You could save my life. You could be like having a touch. Just make my dreams come true. I love this nigga, Zachary. Good call, brother. Good request. I like this, Zachary. Promise, fucking fire. Just make my dreams come true. Right. Having a touch. Just let that dress undo. Having a touch. Spellbound. Show me that you feel the same. Ooh. You'd be like having a touch. Got no runner running through my veins. That's a fact, though. When a girl's, or when a girl, that's how you know that it's easy for dudes to know when they fall in love. It's easy. It's easy. If you feel like you can't make a move without her by your side, if you feel a little weird if you haven't talked to her in about an hour or two, like it kind of is bothering you that you haven't talked to her for about two hours, it's little things like that, like little feelings. If you, if if you like going to the store and you at the aisle, right, and you buy some chicken nuggets, or the dinosaurs, uh, you got a two liter soda, Pepsi, preferably, but if you got Coke, I'll take that shit too. And then you see a bag of flaming hot Cheetos, and you remember that she said something about flaming hot Cheetos that her poop was orange, and that shit makes you laugh in line. You in love, nigga. I don't know what else to tell you, brother. Buy a ring and give it to her. Because at the end of the day, when a man feels that way towards a woman, he ends up marrying that same woman. For the most part, there's odd situations out there that it doesn't happen. But for the most part, that's what the fuck happens. Rob, why are you talking to these about love? They don't know about love out there. Man, the only thing they love is their Instagram page and how much followers they got. That's what the fuck they love. Sing to her. Panties are almost off, man. Got no runner running through my veins. Can I come over on a weekday in the morning when it's early? I can't stay in my place. It's too ugly. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. I love this nigga. I love this nigga. That was like he he was going to do something special, but he's like, nah, I'm going to make them niggas think about it. And he, and he got, that nigga said, hey, sound like Fonzie, man. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. My man Prov, man. My man Prov is fire. Yo, Stop House keeps on sending me. I bought that nigga's album, and Stop House has been sending me nothing but emails. And I've already purchased something, some more stuff. So, I mean, coming soon. That's my nigga right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Zachary, thank you so much for this request, my brother. This was this was dope. I like this song. This song is one of I think I could put that up there to one of my uh my one of my favorite prop songs. Cause it's just the emotion, the, the way he's singing, the passion that you see his face doing this live, the sound quality, the visuals, the excitement, the passion that he's showing when he's doing the thing. All that in the bag of potato chips. Nigga, just give me a diet coke and we good to go. Prof, I love you, my brother. This was Fire Zachary. I appreciate you, my brother, for supporting the page, supporting me, and being a cool-ass dude. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I got two more coming. Peace.